What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome and today I'm going to show you guys how to tram your tag CNC mill. Now there's a couple of tools that you can buy to do it easier but honestly I went the route that works but doesn't use specialized tools and instead uses tools that you can use for other projects down the road. Let's get right to it. So to do this, there's a couple of things that you want to do to start off with. The first thing is you need to use a machinist square and a decent one to go ahead and square the uh, Z axis. Now what you're doing with, with the machinist square is really just roughing it in. Uh, we want it to be pretty close because you don't want it to be off so much that when you do tram it in using the dial indicator that it's not off by the entire scale of your dial. Uh, and that's kind of a risk if you don't just square it up with this to begin with. And these can be had pretty cheap on Amazon. Uh, so the next thing that you need, and it'll be kind of hard to see right off the bat, I will zoom in on it, is this adjustable arm fixture, okay? So this is a 3 8 um, basically arm here, and all it does is goes in the 3 8 call it, and then it's got a, uh, a dial indicator on it. Uh, and that just allows you to spin it so that you can see uh, if you have a difference in this side versus this side. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera so that I can show you guys more what we've got. So as you can see, I have the indicator set up. It's not reading exactly zero, but it works in this situation. When I rotate this, I want to try and keep it on this uh, little T right here. Okay. If you move it to another one, there is a chance that it'll be off. Now with a mill like this, you really don't want that, but just to eliminate that possibility, I went ahead and left it here. Now we need to be very careful when we rotate this. You don't want to shock that too much and mess up the measurements. So we're going to rotate it slowly and it will drop off there and then it'll pick back up, drop off, pick back up. All right, now you guys can't see the indicator but when I look at it, I'm getting about uh, a half a thou difference uh, between this side and this side. I messed with it for quite a while. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with half a thou. Now, I did try using my big, oops, excuse me, my big Lixie Dead Blow. This is a bit too much. I found that just the, the heel of my hand worked just fine for knocking the, the column around a little bit uh, to get it exactly squared up. and now that it's it's good I am really really happy with those results so one of the big reasons why I wanted to to tram the the Z column I've been milling wood so it's not been that critical to be honest but I just got a fly cutter and I've got some aluminum I'm gonna put it the whole length of this basically and I'm gonna cut it off make sure that it's nice and, and flat to this mill and I needed that to be perfect so that I can take the widest cuts possible with that fly cutter. So you do need to make sure that it is trammed in just to make sure that everything is perfect and we're not putting more load on one side of the cutter versus the other. And we don't want to be cutting at a slope either, even if it's small. So that's really going to be it for this video. If this video helped you guys out, I would definitely appreciate a like and subscribe for more content, especially related to this CNC and the Micro Machine Shop series. Um, this has been how to tram your tag CNC mill. Uh, make sure you leave me a comment on some other stuff that you guys might be interested in seeing with this particular CNC and I'll catch you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.